Greetings YouTube, this is Super Gimped Up, getting you guys my second GIMP tutorial. Today we're going to be working with reflections, or giving the illusion that there's a reflection going on. Our subject today is the girl with the sunglasses, it's a nice black and white picture of an attractive lady wearing pretty good sized sunglasses. Um, we want to get rid of the natural reflection and replace it with this double-decker bus from London image. I get this tutorial from here we go, Gimp Along. It's a blog. The URL will be posted in my uh, video description along with the video references. When you click on the girl with the sunglasses um, say reference it goes to Flickr you want to click on the picture itself then right click and then choose a medium um, 640 you can choose any size that you want though uh, I just go with that with this for this tutorial and then you also get your stock London photo um, off of this site and you can just right click it save the image as and put it on your computer somewhere so let's begin opening up the London bus. We go ahead and use GIMP as our imager. What we want to do is just flip this image over. So we click on the flip tab, a flip tool, I should say, and make sure it's selected for horizontal and just flip it. Also, um, before we do anything else, make sure your foreground is black and your background is white. Because now we're going to mess with the girl image. My layers panel is not open, so we want to hold down the control key and press L. We want to duplicate the first um, layer. And then we want to press new layer, do the foreground color, and you have this black layer here. And we want to move this down between the two background layers. Okay. Play. Let's go ahead and select our fuzzy tool and make sure that we're on the background copy layer. I zoom in on the picture by holding down the control key and using my mouse wheel. So I'll scroll up and it zooms in a bit. Now with our fuzzy um, selected, we need to click on add to current selection and just go ahead and drag and click or click and drag on me. And just try to get all these little dots and so far. Same thing with the other side. Okay, to really clean this up, we go to select and we go to feather. We need at least five or at least ten pixels, I should say. Click OK. And that should be pretty smooth. So the next thing we do is we click on our background copy layer and or right click I should say and add an alpha channel. Simply hit the delete key and that gets rid of um, the original reflection. I hold down a control and that scroll down to zoom it back out. Now we're going to take our London bus view and we're going to put it onto the, the girl's sunglasses. So we hold down control and we press A. Then we hold down control and we press C to copy it. We're going to right click on our um, photo here and just 
click edit and then paste as a new layer we're going to double click the new layer and just call it um, bus right and we're going to duplicate it and we're going to call the other one bus left okay there's still a little bit of a selection going on here and it could mess with mess up things so we go ahead and hold down control shift and then a and that gets rid of any selections going on with our bus right selected we can go ahead and just scale it down we press the scale key we're going to make this 150 by 150 now I forgot to scale it down before duplicating it so we're going to do the same thing with the other layer but of course to save time you just do this first before duplicating it but okay so with our bus right select like that layer we're going to drag it down just beneath the background copy and with it still selected we use our move tool we want to make sure we pick move the active layer and what do you know the effect is pretty immediate we go ahead and do the same thing with our left and forgive me I'm dyslexic I got my deals backwards but it doesn't matter make sure this goes underneath whatever you do you don't want the two layers to kind of like overlap um, inside the um, sunglasses view now to make the sunglasses look a little more realistic we need to produce that you know tint color that they have so we go ahead and click on the right um, bus layer we just right click it and we're going to add a mask do a white full opacity and we're going to do the same thing with the left we are going to use our blend tool and of course with the foreground black and the background white we're going to use just the defaults here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and we're going to click from the bottom all the way up. If you want a perfectly straight line, just hold the control key. And there you have it. We're going to do the same thing with the bus on the left, or technically the right. And there you have it. To finish off this tutorial, just right click on the top layer, flatten the image, and then just go ahead and save by holding down the Control S button. And that concludes our tutorial. Please rate and comment. Subscribe because I'm this is my new channel and I will be releasing tons of GIMP tutorials and even Blender tutorials later on. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.